Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to start a new series that will be Laravel 8 e-commerce series where we will be having many categories and products. So let's get started with it. So first we'll create the new Laravel project. So this is my directory. So I'll open git bash over here and let us go to Google Chrome. And here you can see laravel.com website. Here we are going to install a new project. So you need to have a composer pre-installed that you can get it from composer I just show you so you can see this getcomposer.org so if you click over here you can download it okay so I have already installed composer so now I'm going to install my project via composer here installation via composer let me click on that so here is the command so we'll copy this command copy and in our git bash we are going to paste it and this is the example app this will be the application name so what we are going to name our e-commerce is let us say e-shop and hit enter so the new project will be created over here with the latest version laravel 8 so let us wait for it to get installed So guys it is successfully installed now laravel so let me close this bash and open our project so eShop is created over here so let me open with code and open git bash over here here we'll give the command php artisan so okay hit enter now you can see the development server has started so we'll go to the Chrome and check 8000. Okay, so this is our project, and I will show you this thing from resources, views, welcome blade. So here it is about this thing. We are going to write a message h1 tag. Sharma coder save and now let us check the output so here and we'll refresh so you can see it is come over here so next what we are going to do is we are going to set up our database so here just close all these files arrange and here in your dot env file just open that and here you can see db database so this is the default database name the laravel has provided it's laravel so we are going to connect our database with this so i have created a database over here with the name e-commerce so let me just copy that and connect it with our project so just paste it over here save and close this dot env file make sure you restart your server just stop this and php artisan serve okay so now our database is also connected so one more thing we need to set up guys so let me rearrange and inside the app providers app service provider here we need to add one line of code so that will be schema double colon default string length okay so make sure the s and l is capital here and the default string length i'm going to get to 191 so what this is going to do is whenever we are creating a new migration that time the string data type will automatically take the length of 191 so just save and close this file so in this video that's it guys so in the next video we are going to see how to make the auth system that is the login and registration system in laravel 8 so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel Thank you.